this video, I'm going to demonstrate the Active Directory user export tool. Uh, this tool will get all domain user accounts, or you can select from an OU or a group, and then you can generate a CSV of uh, those accounts. Um, so to start, uh, the tool has a, a large list of user attributes that are selected by default. So if I open up columns, uh, you can see these are all the columns, user properties that are uh, selected by default, and you can change that. I'll go over that in a minute. But to run the tool, you literally just click the Run button, and it'll go out and get all of the domain accounts and generate the minute results, and then you can export it to a CSV. So I've got about 2,500 accounts in my domain. If I scroll down, you can see it shows the number here, and that took about 30 seconds to generate this. So to export this to a CSV, just click Export. And you can also choose from a Excel file or a PDF. And that's it. I click this, open this. I've now got a, an export of all my domain accounts. So this first column is just the user account's name, their, their logon name, and then I've got initials, display name, uh, first name, last name, I mean, you can just see as an example all these fields that uh, were exported. So that's how you export all domain accounts. Um, if you want to export just an OU or a group, just select OU or group, and then you can browse or you can enter in the distinguished name uh, path of that OU. But I will just browse and export all my accounting users, and then I will add the distinguished name column just so I can easily see and verify that these are the accounts from and then I'll just click run you can see the distinguished name path here so you can see the distinguished name path uh, OU equals accounting so that just was a quick way for me to verify that it is displaying all of the accounting uh, accounts. So now I can just export this. And now I have an export of all my counting users. So one more example. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can change the columns. Um, the ones on the right are the ones that are selected, and then you can choose from a large list of attributes here. You can add, remove, move them up or down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export uh, all, all accounts proxy addresses. So I'm going to move this. Well, actually, I'm just going to remove the ones I don't want. So I'm just going to remove everything except proxy addresses and, and SAM account name, which is the user's logon name. So let me go back and find proxy addresses. I'll add that back. So um, I'll rerun this on the entire domain, and then I'll have a list of all accounts and their proxy addresses. So if I scroll through, you can see most accounts just have one, but I've got some that have multiple proxy addresses, and this will, this will export um, all of them. The primary one is in capital, uh, capital SMTP, and then any additional ones are just separated by a uh, colon. So let me export this. I'll open that. And there I've got a list of all domain accounts and their proxy addresses. Uh, one additional thing, you can, you can search. So if you have a large domain uh, with a lot of groups, you can search for a group instead of browsing. So I'm going to search for all groups um, that start with accounting, or A-C-C-O-N-T. So here's all the accounts I found. Um, I'll select this one. Click Run. 
that group had no members so let me search for another one and there you go so now it's giving me all the members of that group so that's the export tool very easy to use and a quick way to generate a CSV of all user accounts um, in a separate video I'll show you how you can use this tool uh, to generate templates for um, the bulk updater and the group management tool so these so the bulk updater is used to update uh, user account properties um, so you, you can start with a blank template or you could use the export tool to create a list of user accounts uh, same thing with group management this tool is used to uh, update groups and you can Again, start with a blank template or use the export tool to generate a list of accounts. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.